Ryan, Peterborough opponents you quite like playing, if you judge anything by last season. Are you looking forward to this weekend? Yeah, um, obviously the result on Wednesday night gives us a bit of uh, added incentive, so um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully get back to winning ways and stop their unbeaten run this season. You, you personally got off the mark last weekend with your first goal. You got off the mark early last season with Peterborough against Peterborough, sorry, and had a, had a good goal-scoring season. How important is it for you or any strikers to kind of get the ball rolling early? Yeah, that's it. Last season I had a, I had a successful season probably because of my start. Um, and as you see this year, it's, I've got going in the second game. So hopefully I can uh, continue to add to that this year, add to the tally. And as you say, I scored a couple against Peterborough last year, so it'd be nice to repeat that. Do you ever have like a, like a, a bunny team where you think you're always going to score against them? Although knowing you, you probably think you're going to score in every game. Yeah, as you just <laughs> said there, um, I go into most games feeling yeah. confident um, that I'll go and score a goal because the team that we, the team that I play in creates a lot of chances, so it's up to me to, uh, to put the ball away. So now nah, I do, as you say, go into a lot of games, most of the games, 99% of the games, confident that I will score. So hopefully it'll be no different tomorrow. Having played Peterborough so recently, albeit in a different competition and lots of changes were made how much can you read into that game to how they're going to play again this weekend yeah I think it shows that um, that both sides are attacking they both want to play free flow, free flow football and score some goals so I think it will be an exciting game as you said regarding the changes there probably will be a lot of changes for both sides you never know um, but it, I don't think it will disrupt the game too much I don't think it will be much different so as I said it will be two teams wanting to go and win and uh, they're obviously looking to keep their start to the season gone but we're obviously looking to kick start ours again after the defeat last weekend mm. this one kind of has a bit of a feel to it like the, the first game of the season against Barnsley relegated side coming down against us who are hungry to be at the right end of the table yeah it does it's two teams that should be at the top end of the table so as I said it should be an exciting game and hopefully one that we come out on top of you kind of alluded to it the, the, the way we play and it's well known that we like to play good football but this year has been a slight change of formation it's kind of affected you a bit as well because you're, you're now one I suppose up front yeah. rather than the two how have you kind of felt it's all worked yeah as, as I said in the interview before most of my career I've played as a two and I've enjoyed playing as a two um, playing as a one it's they always feel quite isolated but in this formation it's so much different there's um, as I said there's a couple of tens that play higher up the park um, it's basically a three that you play mm. up front so there's more support um, than there would be even playing as a two so it's I, I'm really enjoying it this year there should be hopefully a lot more chances that we'll get um, because the tens get on the ball a lot it's, it's a bit of a free roam to be fair one can end up in the middle one can end up in the right one can end up in the left so now I really am enjoying it and uh, as I say for the first time as a as a one uh, it's a it's an enjoyable formation to play in yeah and on those two tens as well in the two league games it's been Danny and Finn and there probably aren't many more creative players in this division than those two are there no nah, you're absolutely right the boys have been different class and since uh, since Finn came in you can see his qualities he likes to get on it in half turn and play forward quite early so that's something that um something I'm on board with that's what I like doing getting any chance I get can run in behind and he likes to thread them balls through and obviously as you know with Dan we've seen him for years and years do the same thing he's, uh, he's, a, he's a threat in the final third and it's, uh, it just attracts defenders and leaves space for me to run in behind Just finally tomorrow pr- probably likely to be quite an emotional day it's a year on since the um, kind of horrific tragedy that happened in the city um, I don't know whether you kind of can talk about how much you remember from the day last year and, and how it kind of you felt it galvanised the city as well? Yeah, it did. As you say, it's obviously an awful event that happened in the city. Um, I had family down at the time, so it just shows like anything that happens in the city, it brings everyone together. It, the day of the game, um, I think it showed how emotional it was to everybody. The minutes applause, the minutes silence, everything that we did, um, the banners, everything that just shows that uh, the, the city is together and when tragic things happen like this, everybody sticks together and we get through it as a as a town and as a city. Well, best of luck tomorrow, Ryan.